since I kissed you I don't wanna wait How long has it been since you held me? I don't wanna wait How long has it been since I felt like this? About anything I don't wanna wait I don't wanna wait no more How long do we have to put up with This lonely charade As long as I know that I'm winning I played this game But I want you close, baby, right now I know you feel the same I don't wanna wait I don't wanna wait no more Good morning and welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. I have missed filming my What I Eat in a Day videos. I didn't film one for a couple of weeks. As If you follow my channel, you know that we just made a huge move from the state of Washington to the state of Arizona. So I didn't film a What I Eat in a Day because instead I filmed a big moving vlog. I'll go ahead and link that down below for you if you haven't seen it. I shared what I was eating along our trip and then of course just our big three day trip to Arizona and the first few days in our new home. So I'll definitely link that down below for you. But I'm back and I'm super excited to be filming my what I eat in a days again. Speaking of what I eat in a day, I wanted to sit down for just a couple of minutes because I've been getting a lot of questions about the supplements that I'm taking, but most importantly, what collagen I put in my coffee every morning and why. So you saw this morning that I added my Garden of Life Fit Biotic, which is something I put in my coffee every single morning. It's fiber, it's probiotics, it's really good for gut health. I take that in addition to my Ombre or my Thrive Gut Health Personalized Probiotic. I'll link that test down below for you right now. It's $30 off. So if you want your gut health tested and a personal probiotic designed specifically for you, which helps not only with weight loss, but just feeling better and having better gut health overall, that's a great test to take. So in addition to that, probiotic pill. I take my Fitbiotic in my coffee every morning. I buy that on Amazon. It's the cheapest, way cheaper than a health food store. So I'll link that for you guys as well. But I also put collagen in my coffee every single morning. I've seen quite a few posts in my Facebook group asking about the vital proteins, collagen peptides that used to be sold at Costco that is sometimes at Costco and not sometimes at Costco. And just so you know, that also went up in price. About a year ago, I transitioned from the Vital Proteins Collagen to the Collagen for Her brand. And the reason that I switch collagen brands is because this is made for women by women. So this is a collagen supplement that's specifically made for women, which is really, really important. As women, we have different needs than men. So it's nice to have a collagen supplement that's specifically made for us. Not to mention, this is a woman-owned business and it's more affordable than the Vital Protein since its price just went up at Costco. So this is the Collagen Peptide Powder Unflavored. It dissolves beautifully in any liquid, hot or cold, you can add this to a smoothie. I add it to my hot shots of espresso every single morning so that I can get in my boost of collagen. Collagen is great for hair, skin, nails, joint, and skin elasticity, so as we lose weight, Putting in a collagen supplement can really help with the elasticity of our skin. And like I've mentioned before, my hair, my skin, my nails have never looked better since using collagen. But I also wanted to show you guys these because these were great while I traveled from Washington to Arizona. So this is the same brand, the Collagen for Her Collagen Peptides, but these are cute little individual packets. So if you're somebody that travels or you're somebody that actually picks up your coffee at a coffee shop, you can take these little individual packets with you and add them directly to your coffee on the go. So that's what I did on my trip is I had the barista either give me my cup or I gave the barista the little packet of the collagen and the Fitbiotics, whatever worked out for that particular coffee shop. And they added it to my coffee every day so that I was still able to get in my collagen while I was on the road. So the collagen for her brand is what I've been using now for almost a year and I really, really like it. I love supporting a small business and I find that this dissolves even better than the Vital Proteins and it's less expensive. So I'll go ahead and link my collagen for her collagen down below for you. If you have any other collagen questions, let me know. In fact, I did a video all about collagen on my nutrition channel. So I'll link my channel and that collagen video if you wanna know the ins and outs in the 411 on why collagen is important, but highly, highly recommend collagen for her. 
This morning I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and I have to show you this super fun electric tea kettle from the brand Hazel Quinn that I picked up off of Amazon. I love shopping on Amazon. It's super convenient. Everything is affordably priced and delivered to your doorstep. Look how adorable this retro style with all the modern features electric tea kettle is. I love the mint green sage green color. The tea kettle has a dial on the front that shows you the pressure and the temperature of the water. I think it is so cute with the lid that fits perfectly to use the tea kettle you plug it in add your water this little lever on the side push that down and when the light turns off your water is heated so i have my cup of tea and my cute little morning mug from ray dunn Smells amazing. I actually have the toffee apple tea from Tea Pigs. It was a limited edition flavor. I'm not sure if it's still available, but they have really good tea. I actually bought a bunch a while back. I shared it in a What I Eat in a Day video. I'll put their website down below for you. But I'm going to sip on my mug of tea before I make some breakfast this morning. I will make sure that little cutie right there is linked down below for you guys. It's so adorable and super effective. It boiled the water very, very quickly, and it would look really nice sitting out on the counter. And not only is it a aesthetically pleasing, but it works incredibly well. So cheers. So here's what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning slash morning snack. I did have my protein shake, so it's mid-morning now. I'm going to have one of these Birch Benders protein toaster waffles, 11 grams of protein, and then I'm gonna top it with some fresh avocado and one egg that I just cracked in my little microwave egg cooker. I bought this off of Amazon. I'll link it for you guys, and I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave. And then I love my little extra avocado keeper. This I got at TJ Maxx for like $3, and it actually keeps your avocados really well. So I have about 52 grams of avocado and the rest going into the refrigerator for storage. So here is my breakfast. I have the waffle with my avocado and an egg. And then I decided just to have some fresh raspberries. This looks so good. So I ended up picking up this little sign. There are three different pictures. It says wash, dry, fold. This is for my laundry room. This was at Big Lots for $15. I thought that was a really good deal. And then also at Big Lots, I picked up this plant. I'm going to put this out on my patio table outside. I'll show you guys what that looks like. And then the only other thing I got at Big Lots was some beef jerky. At TJ Maxx, I 
grabbed two toilet paper holders, one for each of our bathrooms. I got this cute little candle. It's orange. It smells amazing. It has cute little feet on the bottom. We are doing our spare bedroom in orange, like orange tones to kind of go with Arizona. So I picked up that for the shelf and then some smart bones for the dogs. Of course, I can never not get the dog something. And then I did grab this cute little faux plant originally for my patio, but I think I like this one better. I'm going to try them both. I may end up taking this one back or I may find another spot in my house for it. At Ross, I found this really cool mirror. You can see that it has like the orange detail. This is for the spare bedroom on the wall. Again, that whole orangey vibe. Shower rod holder. What's it called? Sh tension pole. Shower caddy for our master bath. Our master bath is a uh, floor to ceiling tile. And there's only one little cutout, which is not enough for all of my bath stuff. And then I grabbed Palmer, some little babies. And then these shoes are so cute. I got these at Beals for $11.99. I thought they were absolutely adorable. And then I found at Beals on clearance, one of the, this orange glass decorative item. I thought it would be really pretty in the spare bedroom. I have a shelf in there. And then one of my faux plants broke on the move. So I grabbed a new fresh pot for it so that I can just transfer the actual plant to a new pot. And then at Beals, I also picked up these two pillows. Look at how cute these are. I love these little balls. I showed you guys these in the video. I grabbed two of them for our bench in our hallway. And then a small little garbage can from Ross for our kitchen. We do have a little pullout garbage thing and it only holds a pretty small can or two. So we, I wanna try this, see if it fits. I'll probably grab one more. And then I picked up this really cute orange bedding for the spare bedroom. And it has actually some fringe. I thought it was really cute. And then this comforter, which I really like this quilt. It's kind of a white, off-white color, and it has some texture on it. I think it's really, really pretty. So that's actually going to go into the spare bedroom. So that is everything that I picked up. Three hours later. We're going to Lowe's. We decided to make a Lowe's run. We have some stuff to return, and we need to pick up a few things. I have bought a hose and a trimmer twice, and Troy did not like either of them. So we are going to go so he can pick his own out. I did bring the little Sargento wheat thin cheese and cracker pack with me. And then I brought a cup of water and Troy brought some Doritos. Look at the back of our car. We have another Goodwill run to make. So earlier today I went out and did a bunch of shopping, which I shared with you guys. Now, like I mentioned, we're on our way to Lowe's. Troy's in the gas station getting a pop. I just ate my little balanced break and then Troy brought chips, which I'm not gonna have any, but I did have my balanced break. It is almost noon, so that may end up being my lunch. I have some of that pulled chicken I bought in my grocery haul left over from Sprouts. Spoiler alert, that pulled chicken is amazing. So I may have that later today. I have a really good dinner recipe to share with you guys tonight. But we're going to run a quick errand, see how our dogs do. This is actually only the second time that we've left our dogs alone in our new house. They do have a dog door now, so it's easy for them to go in and out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well while we make a quick trip into Tucson to Lowe's. Okay, well, so one of those. What's that? This is a child. Kids? Yeah, kids. Anything else? Now do a, a cookie dough blizzard. What's that? How big is it small? How's your blizzard? Good. Try got a small cookie dough. I just got a vanilla cone. Look at all the lemons on my tree that need to get picked. I actually ordered a picker off of Amazon because they don't sell them at any hardware store here. And we had a baby bird. You can see the nest right here. So there was a mom and a couple of babies in there, but they just grew their wings and flew off. We all came outside for a little bit. Troy is on poop duty. He picks up the poop every couple days, so it keeps our yard nice and clean. And it only takes 10 minutes when we keep up with it. Straight ahead of me is the lemon tree. They are coming back on Monday to trim that all up. They didn't want to disturb the nest, and I think the birds are gone. They left the nest, so I don't know. Do birds come back? Once they leave, I'm not really sure how that works, but we're also having gravel that matches the gravel that we have spread in our yard. I also wanted to show you guys my super cute cup that I got at Starbucks. It has the Starbucks logo and it has this super fun blue and purple design. It's glass. I've been loving drinking my water out of it. Lola's sunbathing and there's the crazy one. Oh, do you got your ball? Here, can I throw it to you? Palmer, let me show you your ball. I got it. You want it? 
Go get it. Good job, bud. Good job. Good job. Lola's going to sit with me on the couch out here for a little bit, and someone wants their ball thrown to them again. Come here, buddy. You got to give it to me. For dinner tonight, I am making Philly cheesesteak casserole. I myself am very excited for this. I told Troy that he could use the leftover hamburger buns from our Sloppy Joe's earlier in the week if he wants to actually make a sandwich, but I am just going to have the meat, the cheese, the veggies. I'm super excited, so let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need salt, pepper, and Worcestershire sauce. You'll also need some steak. I'm using grass-fed flat iron steak from ButcherBox. They have the best meat. I'm not kidding when I tell you they have the best red meat steak, seafood. Highly, highly recommend ButcherBox. I'll link it down below for you guys. Now that we're settled, I had paused my boxes and I'm definitely going to reignite my boxes. So I'll be sharing lots of ButcherBox videos with you guys in the future. But I am using two of the flat iron steaks two bell peppers, an onion, some one third less fat cream cheese, and then cheese of your choice. The recipe actually calls for provolone cheese, but I think I'm going to do Colby Jack because we love Colby Jack cheese. So let's get started on dinner. So the first thing we're going to do is chop up our bell peppers, our onion, and then we will slice up our steak. How long has it been since I felt like this? About anything. I'm going to spray my pan with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're going to add in our steak and we're going to allow it to cook until your desired wellness. We like ours pretty well done. I let my steak cook until it was still pink because it's going to continue cooking once we add in our bell peppers and our onions. And all of this is actually going to go into the oven to continue cooking as well. So maybe undercook your steak just a little bit so that it doesn't become tough and rubbery. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt and pepper, a tablespoon or so of Worcestershire sauce, and two ounces of the one third less fat cream cheese. And then we're just going to stir this until the cream cheese is fully melted. Into a small baking dish, this is about a six by nine. Go ahead and add all of your mixture. I changed my mind. I think I'm going to do Monterey Jack cheese on top. We don't have provolone in this pack and I feel like that's a pretty close dupe to the provolone cheese. The original recipe wants six slices. I don't know that I'm going to need six. So I'm going to do four. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and stop at four slices. And then this is going into my 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melty. I just pulled the Philly cheesesteak casserole out of the oven. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in my house. And this just looks so good. You can see that there's a little bit of that creamy, kind of cream cheese sauce with it. I'm just going to eat the meat, the veggies, and the cheese. I'll let Troy kind of decide what he wants to do. I will go ahead and put points, calories, serving size, everything here on the screen for you. Let me plate this up and I'll be back to share my dinner. Here's my dinner. I went ahead and served myself up a portion. This doesn't look like a lot, but this is a big bowl and it is the steak, the cheese, the veggies. I'm really excited. So I do want to go ahead and try it. I, I'm curious if you can taste the cream cheese, if it does really taste like the insides of a Philly cheesesteak. Mmm, that is really good. Thank you for joining me on this week's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be sharing What I Eat in a Days with you guys again. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the good stuff I shared with you today, the collagen, the tea kettle, of course, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join my Facebook group. It's a great way to follow me day to day and get lots of great ideas and inspiration. So if you enjoyed today's What I Eat in a Day, give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bells turned on so you never miss a future video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Bye!